give yourself to the dark side. This is Darth Vader Unlimited, the unofficial YouTube channel of the Dark Lord of the Sith. You have already clicked on the thumbnail. We are looking at the Star Wars Outlaws official launch trailer. Now, from what I've been able to ascertain thus far, this game seems to be based on the fringe characters. What I mean by that is the scum, the villainy, the bounty hunters, the smugglers, the card players, gamblers, scoundrels, you know the type. So I'm not expecting any Jedi or Sith or anything Force related, but I could be wrong. But we are doing the trailer in three, two, one, go. Oh, a Rancor. K Vess. A Rodian. The underworld's favorite new scoundrel. Now this looks like Star Wars. That was Mos Eisley. The Star Wars game that I've always wanted. Is your one that shot. is Tatooine. A safe filled with 157 million credits. And I can get you inside. It feels very Star Wars. A Gamorrean guard. How about getting out? This Pretty skinny Gamorrean guard dead. there. Why not just make this about Dr. Aphra? Your lives are over. Your family, hmm. friends, gone. Interesting design on those guards no there. The galaxy you can hide. Oh no. I know we aren't doing that. The stormtrooper effect. Get in with the underworld's most dangerous syndicates. <laughs> ah, Jabba, Bib, Solicius Crumb. So this is in the Rebellion era timeline. I like this music. I'm in. It seemed mostly to be set on Tatooine. This music is, feels epic. It feels like Star Wars, and it's always important to always get those callbacks. Now, why is it such a big deal for something to feel like Star Wars? Because that feeling has been muddied, has been muddled, has been trampled with live action series that don't capture the magic of George Lucas. Now, remember, George Lucas sold Star Wars of his own free will. There was no Jedi mind trick involved, I can assure you. But Disney thus far, Disney Lucasfilm, has not been able to capture the vision of George Lucas in live action. Now the computer generated animated series, they've done very well because they've been spearheaded by Dave Filoni. But thus far, Dave Filoni is still in the process of learning from Jon Favreau himself on how to tell those stories through the live action medium. So let's go back to this game. This game feels like it was created by someone that appreciates and knows Star Wars. It appreciates it pays homage to George Lucas himself and his legendary vision. A vision that changed the scope of cinema forever. Now, will I buy this game? I honestly do not buy a lot of video games. But that will require, of course, a next generation system. And this might be system wide. It might not be exclusive, like on just the PlayStation 5 or the Xbox S or just the PC gaming. But whether or not I purchase a new console is entirely up to this, the fate of the dark side of the force. I have many things to do. Of course, exterminating Jedi and just being me. This looks like an excellent game. It looks like it's fun. And I hope it's enjoyable for those that do purchase it indeed. Give yourself to the dark side.